in the mall um, eating dinner. It's about 8, 10. I already have my ticket. And I'm going to the 9 p.m. late show. Uh, the late show in Japan is often not very late, <laughs> but it is cheaper than uh, the normal show. Uh, you get in for 1,200 yen at my theater where I go. Um, about two hours away from my house, I had to drive. And uh, instead of 1,800 yen, so $12 instead of about $18 with the current exchange rate. So this is a PAMP. It's kind of like a souvenir movie book you can buy. <coughs> And obviously the text is in Japanese, and uh, just lots of information about the film, lots of like poster size stuff. Um, they're just really, they interview everybody. Uh, these are awesome, they do a great job on them. In the back, there's all the cool toys you can buy in Japan. Like you can get cup ramen with Iron Man. <laughs> and all the different toys and souvenir stuff like this cool stuff up here <laughs> and lastly let's see all this kind of stuff you can get so some of that is available at the theater I bought some stickers and stuff for my uh, uh, my language school kids to give away but a lot of it um, you have to send away for it like mail order or go online um, so, I'm off to the 9 o'clock show. I'll be back with a review. Well, in, in an edit, really, for you guys, but in a few hours. I think the movie's about two hours long, and I'll let you know what I thought. One week before America. Yay! Okay, see ya. Hello, and welcome. I'm back now. Got my Iron Man stuff here at home. Here's some of the stickers I bought. Uh, oh, they're upside down. <laughs> and they're very reflective. Um, so, uh, what did I think of the movie? Let's get right down to it. I, this is going to be spoiler free. As much as I can be, I will promise not to spoil anything because I know you in America and most of, you know, like Europe and stuff have not seen the movie yet. So either, you know, you can hit the little watch later button, maybe wait a week until you've seen it and then see what we think, but I'm really not going to go into any big spoilers. Um, definite thumbs up. Enjoyed it. We'll probably see it again. Um, really good job by everyone involved, and it escapes the curse of so many Part 3 movies. Um, it's a very, very strong sequel. Definitely enjoyed it more than Iron Man 2, and, uh, I would say it's on the level with Iron Man 1. Uh, <clears throat> follows up the Avengers, ties in very nicely, and, you know, some people are going to look at this film and go, okay, is it a sequel to the Avengers? But really, it's not. What it is, is it's it's the next phase, obviously, in the Marvel movies. You know, we're going to have another Thor movie. Then after that, we're going to have another Captain America movie. We're going to have a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And then we'll have the second Avengers movie. So, um, I don't really feel like it, you know, it's got to be a sequel to that. But it certainly talks about what happened in the Avengers and, and what's happening to Tony. Uh, Iron Man in the film, and so um, it definitely is all very interconnected. Um, so let's get down to talking about certain aspects. Um, Robert Downey Jr., amazing, as always, um, a big draw, I know, for a lot of female fans, and, uh, you know, he's just really, it, the role is so much his, and the interesting thing this movie does is it really doesn't you know, like in a James Bond movie or something, there'll be a set piece at the beginning where you kind of see the character in action and you're like, okay, and then they'll settle back down and introduce plot and get, you know, the mechanics of the story going. In this film, they really don't have a big set piece with Iron Man for like, I want to say like the first 45 minutes. Um, there are moments, but uh, it's really a lot more focused on Tony and his abilities just as a human to like, fight and figure things out and be athletic and, and heroic, etc., without the Iron Man armor on. So that was an interesting choice. Gwyneth Paltrow given a lot more to do in this film. She's great. Um, just th This is the part that she was waiting for, the other two movies up until now. Very happy to see Jon Favreau, the director of the first two films, back in, in an acting-only role as Happy. Um, he's got some good stuff. Uh, Don Cheadle, again, as James Rhodes. 
who in this movie is dubbed the Iron Patriot. Uh, you know, they rebrand the War Machine armor, and they talk about that in the film. Uh, it, just everybody in the film. Ben Kingsley, great. Guy Pierce is great. The only person that probably gets short shrift is Rebecca Hall. She's got a small part, and it's just sort of underwritten. But, I mean, she fills her purpose, um, and, and it's just a small role. What can you do? Uh, Stan Lee's cameo, for those of you who are comic book geeks like me, um, is very, very, I mean, blink it and you'll miss it. Um, but, but, you know, it gets a chuckle. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a funny little cameo, um, but it's very, very brief. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a tag at the end of the film, as in all Marvel films, so stay to the end. Um, but I will say that it's not a big reveal of anything uh, in the future movies. It's more of just a humorous tag, and I enjoyed it. I won't spoil it. And then in the Japanese, you know, I obviously went and saw it, and um, in the Japanese theater I saw it in, um, they immediately followed the tag at the very end with the trailer for Thor Dark World, um, which is not coming out in Japan until February of 2014. I, you know, I didn't do, I, I did a little bit of research before this, I should have looked it up. I don't know when it comes out in America. I want to say it comes out this year in America, in like November or December. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to really have to wait for Thor, um, and, you know, that's just a bummer. But, uh, yeah, so that comes out in February of 2014 in Japan, and the trailer looks great. Uh, the guy that's directing that is uh, from Game of Thrones, and that's a TV show I love. Um, okay, so we should talk about Shane Black. Shane Black wrote uh, the very first Lethal Weapon movie. He wrote uh, The Last Boy Scout. He wrote The Long Kiss Goodnight, a great underrated action movie with Gina Davis. Um, and he has a really sharp ear for dialogue. And him and Robert Downey Jr. worked together on a film way back in 2005 called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And this movie kind of has a sort of a, almost a mystery thriller plot like that. Um... You know, Tony's got to, like, be a detective almost and figure some stuff out. And uh, they throw a kid in there, which is usually like, oh, no, not a kid. But the dialogue by Shane Black is so right on um, that it's just a lot of humorous stuff. Um, it's, it's played perfectly. Robert Downey Jr. again kills, and he's worked with Shane before. Um, so i got to give him a lot of credit. Um, what else should I say about the film? The music was a little strange in the sense that, you know, I love the ACDC, the kind of hard edge that they had in the first couple films. And in this film, it opens with uh, a familiar tune. I won't spoil what it is. Um, and then, the like, the end credits, is it's just like instrumental music. Um, and it's kind of jazzy and poppy. And it's not at all kind of like, you know, heavy metal or anything like from the first two. But, uh, you know, it worked. Uh, what is anything, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I, I really, I can't wait to see it again. It was really that good. Um, a few of you might be disappointed with how they handled the Mandarin. I can't really say that much without going into spoilers, but I will say that I, I enjoyed what they did with it. I love Ben Kingsley, and he plays the role great, and, um, I, you know, I had a fun time with, with all of that that happens in the second half of the movie. Uh, but I could see where some people be like, ah, I didn't like that, you know, that's not the guy from the comic. Um, so real quick here, I'll show you a, bit, a few more pages. Um, speaking of the comic, you know, they go over all the old movies uh, here in Japanese, and then they do show you um, some of the comics. I believe that's the first appearance of the Mandarin uh, in Iron Man, or no, Tales of Suspense number 55. Uh <clears throat> And, you know, like I said, these are just great collectibles, uh, just full of just pictures, and, uh, you know, they they give Tony some interesting problems in this film. Of course, in the comics, he's a famous for being an alcoholic, and in this film, they give him some panic attacks and stuff resulting from what happened in the Avengers film. The one thing I kind of kept waiting for was, like, a big cameo, and I will spoil this and say, at no point does Captain America or the Hulk or... Uh, you know, Black Widow or any of the other characters from Avengers show up. So I kind of kept waiting. There was one point where it's like, how is he going to get out of this? How is he going to survive? And, uh, you know, it's done another way. But uh, the set pieces are really well done. Um, 
just overall, just uh, very, very happy with it. There's some great moments with Jarvis. I love the Jarvis character. So uh, definitely go out and see it. Go see it opening weekend. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, I can't imagine. I just don't know how they would have made a better number three film. I mean, when you think about the fact that we've already had two and the Avengers just a year ago, I really think this is a solid entry. And, uh, yeah, very, very pleased. Okay, thanks for watching. And now... As I promised in the title of this video, a contest. So if you stuck around all this time, uh, you're going to get rewarded. I've got these kind of cool Iron Man books. And uh, it's just full of information and pictures. It's all in Japanese. So if you kind of like Japanese things, or you just like Iron Man in general, I'm going to mail um, two of these to, uh, to two random commenters. Just leave a comment. Tell me, uh, you know what you thought of the movie when you go to see it, who your favorite Marvel action character is, is it Iron Man, is it Spider-Man, is it uh, X-Men, Wolverine of course is coming out later this year in Japan called Wolverine Samurai, and uh, yeah, just let me know and I'd be happy to mail this anywhere in the world, so obviously I'll just put it in a flat envelope and uh, I'll PM you if you get picked and uh, a little something from Japan that you can't really get anywhere else, kind of a cool little collectible for Iron Man 3. Okay, thanks guys for watching. You're awesome. Talk to you soon.